Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 13 YouTube videos covering different topics of SAP Automation by using Tricentis Tosca latest version 16. So this is our lesson 14 where I am going to teach you how can we handle SAP sub toolbars in SAP related applications. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, you will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. So what is our today's agenda? So by end of this lesson, you will be able to steer SAP sub toolbar by using Tosca 16. In SAP application, apart from SAP toolbar, we have SAP sub toolbar as well. So this contains the series of tooltips and series of tooltip buttons which change depending upon the page you are working on. So now without delay, let's jump onto the system and let me automate one end-to-end -end scenario and let me show you how can we handle SAP sub toolbar by using Tricentis Tosca. Tricentis is a software testing company headquartered in Austin, Texas. It provides software testing automation and software quality assurance products like Neoload performance testing tool, Tricentis Tasca automation tool, etc. Tricentis is expanding its learning communities and just launched a new community called ShiftSync. So ShiftSync is a space for developers, testers and DevOps specialists to easily share the knowledge, connect with like-minded people and enhance quality in the development process with valuable content, user forums, and industry experts' contribution. ShiftSync offers an engaging space for professionals to connect and learn. So join ShiftSync today by using the link provided in the description. Thank you. Also, Tricentis is conducting webinar on building accountability via Jira process by Vipinjain. So you can click on attend button to reserve your spot by using the link provided in the description. Okay, so this is my present is Tosca. So if you see, we have completed total 13 lessons, practical sessions, right? So I would recommend you guys to go through all these sessions, whatever the test cases that we automated uh, in our previous 13 lessons. So now let me create one new folder, okay? Let me create a new folder here for our today's session. Okay, for our today's session, I'm going to create a new test case basically. So right click and then first create a folder called or sorry, we can directly create test case. Okay, no need to create a folder. We can create a test case, change outbound delivery outbound delivery hyphen steer sub toolbar so we are gonna auto i mean we are gonna steer the sub sub toolbar right so this is regarding steering the support sub toolbar okay we named it as steer sub toolbar and then now let me create one new folder so i'm gonna explain you from the beginning okay uh, one end-to-end -end scenario how can we automate okay here first we are going to open transaction so as these are all you already know how to open the transaction and everything right but however i'm going to teach you from the beginning okay open transaction so from where you will get it this open transaction transaction so you need to simply drag and drop your standard module the standard module that comes along with your tricentis tosca installation okay what is the standard module SAP toolbar, SAP toolbar, drag and drop here. And then here, what transaction do you want to perform? Or transaction means what kind of functionality that do you want to perform? Okay, that you are going to specify here. So the functionality that I would like to do is forward slash n vl02, okay, n. So this is the functionality. And then once you enter the transaction, let me open my 
uh, SAP. Okay, SAP GUI. So generally, what you do here, you will be entering the transaction, right? What we entered N VL zero to N. As soon as you enter, you need to hit enter, correct? So that's why here I'm going to select enter. So done. Once you complete that, you once you hit enter, this opens your change outbound delivery screen. Okay. So now let's create one new folder here. Uh, sorry so let me do one thing let me delete this here delete let's go back to our test case and here now i would like to create another new folder saying outbound delivery okay so we open the transaction and then in outbound delivery what we need to do we have to enter the outbound delivery number if you see this is your outbound delivery number for that we need to scan this particular control on the screen right i already scanned that control if you see here it's very one one simple control so this is my control here okay outbound delivery which is edit box correct i can simply drag and drop here okay here i need to enter the outbound delivery number correct so here the outbound delivery number will be coming from the previous test case that we automated in earlier session okay so let's for now you just think that it's outbound delivery number okay let me do one thing okay let's go here let's go back here here outbound delivery number instead of, so this is my outbound delivery number copy this and then here paste it here so this outbound delivery number will be created whenever you create an outbound delivery. So this creation of outbound delivery that I have explained to you in my previous session. Okay. So that outbound delivery number I need to provide here. Okay. Once you provide the outbound delivery number, again, now here, let's do, once you provide the outbound delivery number here. So let me just explain what is our SAP sub toolbar. So earlier till now we have worked on this entire toolbar. This is called SAP toolbar, right? Enter, back, exit, cancel. All these are on SAP toolbar controls. But based on the page on which you are, there will be a SAP sub toolbar based on the page. For this change out, outbound delivery, you have display change, Correct. Document flow and then overview, post goods issue, right? So now for outbound delivery, as soon as you enter the outbound delivery number, you need to click on post goods issue. This is your SAP sub toolbar. And I want to click on one of the control under SAP sub toolbar. How can we do that? So in SAP, there is a standard module I explained you. Okay. So you need to have your standard module base subset. So the base subset of standard module comes along with the SAP. So you can visit my first or second video where I have explained you about this standard module. Okay. So here, there you can find a module called SAP sub toolbar. You need to simply drag and drop. So before that, let's create one folder here okay or okay you can just simply drag and drop here okay outbound delivery here just name this as name this as press post goods issue okay what is the button number post goods issue correct that's what we are going to do here how can we do that? Here, for any sub toolbar, right? You just need to enter the text that you would like to click on. Okay. How? Post goods issue. I'm going to put a regular expression here. Okay. Issue. Any button that starts with post goods issue, I'm instructing to click on that button. Okay. 
So once that is done, and then let me create one more folder here. Close transaction. Okay, close transaction. And simply for close transaction again, I'm going to call SAP toolbar here, right? For closing any kind of transaction, you need to enter here forward slash n, which will close your transaction. Okay, so forward slash n. Done, right? So now let's save this session and let us execute and see if this particular SAP sub toolbar clicks on post goods issue as soon as it enters the outbound delivery number. Okay, so basically SAP sub toolbar, you have a standard module for SAP sub toolbar as same as SAP menu, as same as SAP toolbar, you also have SAP sub toolbar standard module. And here in SAP toolbar, you generally for SAP toolbar, I'm not talking about sub toolbar, SAP toolbar, you generally select the controls from drop down, right? But for SAP sub toolbar, you need to enter the text that matches your control. Okay. So now let's execute this session and see what happens. Okay. Right click and run in scratch book. So it should open your outbound delivery transaction. Entered the outbound delivery. Now you see it should click. Yes. It's clicked on post. So let me do one thing. I will show you guys click option. Okay. Let's do one thing. I think it's already clicked on that particular toolbar, but to make it visible, what I'm going to do. I think yeah I think that's fine so basically what happened it clicked on that particular post goods issue let me again show you okay right click and run see it enters clearly observe the sub toolbar see here post see it clicked on post goods Correct. So successfully completed. If you see the results, let's go to results here. Okay. Outbound delivery. See, press post goods issue button. So it successfully clicked on that and then close the transaction. Okay. So hope you all understand the concept. How can you steer the SAP sub toolbar, sub toolbar controls by using present task 16. If you have any queries, leave your comments in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.